All right, boys, we're back with another 70 cents Grand Cross video. Now, as you can tell, Zaratras and Zelda just dropped. Also, Hellbrim dropped, but he's a top 100 PvP uh, only reward, so none of us would be getting him. He's also, like, absolutely trash, so no one cares about him. Who, like, like legit, it's just, it's not a nice trophy to have, but nothing more. But anyways, Zaratras and Zelda just the big, the big boys. Um, I'm going to go over both of them first, and then I'll tell you if you should summon if you have gems, or if you should save, since... Like, like, like I will say, anniversary is coming up soon, but there's certain conditions where you should summon, just, just watch until the end. So, Zaratras, uh, what he does is, uh, I'll start with his passive because it'll be easier going to his stats if we have his passive. Um, if he uses his skill and it doesn't crit, it will instead just increase the damage by 70%. Because, um, uh, oh, by his crit rate, okay? But his crit rate is 70%. Uh, it's probably like 80% if you have him 6 star. Um, you might want to go crit chance on him. But then, like, you'll never proc it. But, yeah, actually. Mm, do you want to go crit chance on him? Attack crit. Uh, well, you can go attack crit chance. You can go crit, attack crit damage. But you want crit chance. Um, that's, that's for another video. I'll, I'll have to think about that. Uh, anyway, so his base CC is actually really high, 4,100. He has phenomenal attack, 580. He has phenomenal defense for 440, and we and he has really good HP with 6,500. Should be 7,000, but 6,500 is good enough. Um, he has horrible pierce rate, 5% only. Uh, pretty good resistance, 50%. That's really, really good. And the rest is super solid. Like I said, he has 70% crit chance. It's good. And the rest is pretty like average stuff. All right. Now his skills. His first skill. Inflicts Shatter, okay, on all three, makes it so he ignores resistance of enemies, really good. Um, since most good units have good resistance as well, makes them do more damage, fantastic. This skill is pretty much just a carbon copy of um, Bellion skill, like animation-wise and everything. Um, but it's really good, and it's 120, 180, and 300%. I wish it was 150, uh, 200, and then 350, actually. I think that would be a cool way to buff him, because um, I pulled him, I've used him. His damage is kind of on the, lo on the lower end, but he still has some pretty good uses, which will I get, which I will get into like after I talk about his skills. His second one, Sword of Lightning God, flicks charge, so he ignores defense, 200, 300, and 500 damage. Pretty standard stuff, it's, pretty, it's a decent card, it's Blue Bond's attack card. And his ult is also charged, so he ignores defense, and it does 700 to 1050% uh, of his attack uh, and damage. So, um, you can raise his uh, crit damage with using Dreyfus, but who cares. Um, he is green. Um, now, if you think about green types, right? Let's go to characters, actually. You think about green types, SSRs. He's AoE, right? Let's say he's an AoE, he's just pure damage dealer, okay? Um, he's rivaling Ban, who's really good, but he kind of needs a snatch. He's rivaling Diane, who is probably on the same level as him. They're both just double offensive units. Um, he's not rivaling Escanor. Es Escanor is too too good. And not uh, Esrosa either. He's better than these. All of these actually, when it comes to AOE, he's probably he's actually just a, a Meliodas. Okay, Meliodas has single target AOE. So does he. Um, they both do okay damage. Uh, Meliodas will probably do a little more, but yeah. You, if you if you just need a green damage dealer, he's really good. Um, and especially, which is what I wanted to get into, right now with Super Boss Dian, he's like one of the best units for it. He gets you 400 points by just existing. Well, you, you, use it, you have to use his cards, but like it's so easy to get the 400 points um, because of the missions. And uh, Super, uh, Dian has, has really high defense, so his skill that ignores it is really good for that. Um, also, he won't crit because she has a really high crit resistance, so he'll just increase his damage by a lot. So... That's also really good. Like he's really good for that event. So if you want to go for a high score, you should consider pulling for him. Um, the banner has some pretty yikes uh, units on there. Like has no sins, no commandments. Uh, so that's uh, also a thing you have to think about if you want to aim for them. You can like you can pull an Eskino from there or uh, Red Nunchapan, whatever you want to need from there. No Blue Demiliotas, no Galen, no whatever. You can't. But. He's pretty okay, alright? He has good CC, he has pretty cool outfits, um, so that's alright. But, like I said, only if you really want Super Boss Diange, you should think about getting him. Like, I'm on top 2% right now because I have him. 
And you probably can get like top 20 without him if you get like a really good run. But he makes it a lot easier. Alright, next up, Zeldris. Um, The man we've been waiting for. I think everyone knew that he was going to be blue. It just makes sense for him. Because speed and everything. Um, so his stats are actually stupid. 600 attack, the highest in the game. 420 defense, like one of the highest in the game. 7000 HP, super good. 35 for pierce rate, super good. 50 resistance, really good. No regenerations, but no, no one cares. 60 crit chance with 140 crit damage. Um, and his crit resistance and crit defense is also pretty good. Alright, so first go. Spike. Actually, let's go to his passive first, that's easier. Increases crit damage by 30% when the hero's ultimate uh, move gauge is depleted. Limit three times. Um, now, you might be thinking, oh, that's kind of bad because like you're going to have to rely on the enemy to do that. But no, his commandment makes it. Removes debuffs from, al all, from allies and enemies that move skills and, depleted, uh, and depletes the ultimate gauge by one. So when you move a card, you lose ult gauge, but... Um, you also cleanse all debuffs, but you lose ult gauge, which is important stuff. So, you can stack his crit damage, turn 1 technically, to plus 90%. Um, so he'll have 230% crit damage, which is insane. And then his first skill, which we'll get to now, has spike, which doubles his crit damage. And uh, with 6 crit chance, he'll hit pretty often. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, Meliodas attack, kind of. Kind of? Not really, never mind. Um... It really isn't. I don't know why I said that. Uh, so, it's like a Green King card, that's what I meant. Um, 162, 40, and 400, but like you'll amplify this by so much of crit damage, and you probably will go like full crit damage gear on him as well, um, which we'll get to in a sec why you should. Then, this one inflicts despair. Um, it's new, I'm pretty sure. I don't think any unit has any unit before has uh, had, had this. Um, so, Flicks of Despair, you can read it. Recovers 15% of diminished HP when critical hit occurs. So, uh, just 15% of your missing health when you crit. And he will crit often, so he'll actually heal a lot. And it's an AoE that does 100, 150, and 250. It's pretty good, considering he heals on it. Um, and his ult, which you probably won't get to see too often, uh, but it is there. It's it's the same as Jericho. It's 560 damage, but it, it doubles crit damage. So if you go full crit damage on him, and you... You absolutely pop off, you give him really good, uh, crit, you give him full UR crit damage. Um, you stack his, you stack this, you give him like an Easton or a Green Hellbrun buff. Uh, maybe even a uh, Guild Center buff on top of that as well. And you ult with him on 6-6, six, six, he will do like 12 million damage. But, he, like, and he's really good for Guild Boss since he's blue. Uh, but yeah, you, he really is not needed, I think. He's a, he's a pretty good unit. If you pull him, hey, that's really good. But I don't think he's someone, something, someone you should summon for. Now, should you summon his banner in general? I'd say no. And why? Because, first of all, we'll only be getting four more PvP resets until anniversary, I'm pretty sure. And on anniversary, like, I'm 99% sure, and a lot of people are, are, are too, that the one is going to be released because the one year anniversary, okay? And then they. Yeah, they dropped Esco at like half year kind of ish, so ha like the one would just make perfect sense for anniversary to drop him, and then what's the best unit to pair up with him? Assault mode Lemiliodas, right? The one that fought him. So those two will probably be the anniversary banner, and that one will probably be another 900 gems for the guaranteed unit banner. So you want to have as many gems as you can. Um, now, if you have a lot of gems saved up already. You can go ahead and summon this. I think that's fine. Um, the units aren't too bad. Both, like, okay. They'll inflate your CC. <laughs> I can tell you this much. Um, especially Zeldris. He has the highest CC in the game. Um, and they're pretty fun. Especially Zeldris. I don't have Zeldris, but I've used a friend one. He's, he's really fun. The servers are down right now, else I'll show you. Um, but he's really fun. So, if you want to summon, it's still up to you. Um, I'd say... I don't know. The banner is trash. There's no sins. There's no commandments. If you really want Zara just because he is really cool and he's not a bad unit, right? And if you get Zaratrust, then that's good because you can, uh, like he'll be really useful for you in Super Boss Dian. Since you you want to get 
top 15 percent if you can top 50 is fine too like as long as you're top 50 you're fine but top 15 will be pretty pog champ um so aim like if you get him then that's easy right you'll you'll, you'll be guaranteed like top 30 I, i'm pretty sure and top 15 if you have good gear so go ahead and summon if you want to um but like i said we only have four more or three more even uh, resets for p uh, for anniversary they will give us like a whole lot of just free stuff during anniversary so you might want to think about that one as well but generally speaking i'd say skip as cool as Zeldris is he'll be back he'll be in every banner he'll be in the part two ticket um we'll get a coin jump version of his that's probably going to be better yeah i'd say just wait just skip i know i really want to like summon more for Zeldris too and i might do because i'm just different but the thing is i will wait well out and I do YouTube. Like I, I, I should be doing it. I should be showcasing the new year and everything. Which Zaratros showcase will be um, uh, uploaded tomorrow, probably or in two days. And if I, if the game lets me, I'll upload a Super Boss Dian today or tomorrow as well. So, uh, like a guide and slash me beating it and getting top two percent because it's pretty pog. So yeah, uh, but that's gonna be it. If you. I'd say skip. Honestly, skip. Just no matter what you are, skip. Unless you're YouTuber, skip. Um, Zardus is really cool though. Throw one multi. Alright, uh, if you really want to summon only throw one multi, okay? And if you get shafted, don't say, oh, I'll do one more. Or if you get like an SR, do one more. Just do one done. One and done maximum, okay? But you should skip. He's not crazy good, right? He's not top 10. He's not god tier. He's, he's an okay damage dealing unit. But there's a hundred of these. So, yeah, whatever. You do you. I'd say skip, but I know this doesn't help a lot. Like no, a lot of people don't listen to that because a lot of people summon D Melly, even though I told them to skip, and then they're upset now because they don't have any gems for Escanor. So, yeah, I, I rambled on long enough. That's gonna be it for the video. Like I said, if the server works uh, quick, then I'll upload it today. If not, then I'll upload it tomorrow. Uh, the Super Bowl stuff. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Catch you.